Hey y'all, thanks for stopping by. So, it's another fun day on Elon Musk's Twitter, and yesterday he rolled out the latest update, which took away verification check marks. Well, the older, original legacy check marks, the ones that were handed out to actual people, not paid for. That's the new check mark system, in case you're not aware. You can pay, I think it's $8 a month for Twitter Blue, and you get the check mark next to your name. The old verification system, of course, was, you know, high-profile accounts, you know, journalists, politicians, celebrities, anybody who runs a uniquely high risk of being frauded or someone making an imposter account about them. You know, Twitter would give them a check mark to say, this is the real account. But now if you can pay $8 for your account, you know, it's hard to really tell. And especially now because you have a lot of celebrities who didn't pay for their... Twitter Blue subscription, so it's gone. The one that I saw yesterday was Halle Berry. It actually showed up on my feed, some post of hers, talking about me tomorrow joining the unchecked masses. And then when I clicked her page, I watched her checkmark disappear. And like, I know that one was the actual Halle Berry page, but now it's like, how can you really know for sure, except for like scrolling through, seeing what they post about, and like putting it all together yourself. Now, What's really funny about this whole paid checkmark stuff is you had a couple of celebrities who said they would never pay for it. You know, I think the two I can remember in particular off the top of my head were LeBron James and Stephen King. Both made tweets where they said, I'm not paying the, I'm not paying for the checkmark. And they both have theirs still. And with the update that happened, it says that they've paid for Twitter Blue and have verified their phone number. Now... Stephen King went out after, you know, this update change and made a tweet saying, look, I didn't pay for this. I have never verified my phone number with Twitter, so I don't get this. And Elon Musk replies, namaste. Later, we find out that Elon Musk is personally paying for several Twitter Blue subscriptions for celebrities, which I find incredibly funny because, you know, he started this whole power to the masses thing with the check mark saying, you know, oh, we're going to give them to all the regular people. And he's basically reinventing Twitter's original verification program. There are people who should have these marks because they are the original account. You know, sure, we all run the risk online of someone making a fake account about us and posting stuff that we don't agree with, but people think it comes from us. We all run that risk. We all should have that level of protection. But there is a unique sort of situation when it comes to high profile targets. You know, there are people who have a lot of sway over what people think. You could call them influencers, but this could be someone on the news. This could be someone in movies. You know, anybody who's you might consider a celebrity, I think they should have special little tags on the internet. So it's like, you know that this is the person you're actually talking to. You know, when I used to post on Reddit and they did their little AMA things, whenever celebrities did those, they went through a verification process with the moderators of the specific subreddits that they were, you know, talking through. So you know for sure that this is the person you're dealing with. I'm not saying that Twitter needs to do that for everybody, but... At a certain point, I really think Elon is just going to work himself back into Twitter's old policies. Their old verification method. He's going to get rid of the paid subscriptions. and it's Because essentially, I think what he's realizing now is Twitter wasn't run by these like, you know, this cabal of communists that were like trying to push opinion one way. Like they're just, they're run by capital, which... That's, I'm assuming that's what Elon wants. Like, he wants it to be a capitalist company. He wants to make money off of it. So, it'll eventually go back to normal. I'm assuming. Either that or it's going to burn to the ground. But, I'll be there for it every step of the way. And, I guess until the next time he does an update that messes up the website. Y'all try to have a good day.